Welcome. This tutorial is part of a series designed to help you better understand how to ensure that your department's history is preserved by transferring records to UNCG's university archives. Here, we will focus specifically on transferring records in a digital format. As we all know, many records today are created electronically. In the university archives, we want to be sure to collect those records so we're able to maintain a complete history of the workings of the university. Let's start by quickly covering what we mean by digital records. Digital records are records that were created originally in an electronic format. These might include emails, PowerPoint presentations, digital videos or photographs, databases, or spreadsheets. Typically, they're created and distributed in this electronic format. Often, these records will lose valuable bits of information or functionality if they're printed. For example, printing a spreadsheet saves most of the basic information it contains, but it loses its functionality. You can't sort or search when the information is printed. And sorting and searching are key factors in making a spreadsheet usable. Also, it's important to remember that records are records, whether they're digital or not. North Carolina's public records law, as well as the UNC General Records Retention and Disposition Schedule, make it clear that records in all formats, digital or analog, may be considered archival records. The key determining factors when deciding on whether or not records should be transferred to university archives are content, the information the record contains, and context, who created the record, not format. To help us acquire, preserve, and manage these digital archival records, we worked with developers in the library's Electronic Resources and Information Technology Department to develop a tool that allows for easy transfer of records from across campus to the university archives. We called the tool our Born Digital Records Management System, or BDRM for short. As with any records transferred to university archives, we ask that you please contact us in advance to ensure that the records transferred are archival. Also, this is particularly important if you'll be transferring very large files, like large digital video files, which must be transferred outside of the BDRM web interface that we'll explore here. So to use BDRM, UNCG staff members who are transferring digital files to university archives can log into the site using their UNCG username and password. Select University Archives from the drop-down menu and click the Login button. This will take you to a screen to begin the process of transferring your digital files. In the top box, type a brief description of the content of the files you're uploading. This can include a brief statement of what the records are, how they were used, and when they were created. For example, you might describe the records you're transferring as annual reports from 2010 to 2013 and faculty meeting minutes from 2012 to 2013. Or photographs and other promotional material related to the 2014 homecoming celebration. Essentially, the more information you're able to provide us here, the better. Next, confirm that your name and email address are correct. This should be auto-populated using your UNCG ID. Then let us know from which department or unit you're transferring the records by selecting the appropriate name from the drop-down menu. If you don't see your department name in the list and your department has undergone a recent name change, please check for your former name. And when you finish transferring records, email us and let us know. We'll update the name for your future transfers. Similarly, if you find that your department isn't listed at all, just drop us an email. Unfortunately, you won't be able to upload your files until the department name is included in the list, but we'll let you know as soon as we fix the omission. After you've selected your department name, click the Start Uploading button to go to the File Selection page. Click Add Files to select the files you want to transfer to University Archives. Locate the files you want to upload on your desktop and click Open to add these files to your transfer queue. You can add multiple files in one selection. You'll see a list of the files that you've selected on the transfer page. You can add even more files by clicking the Add Files button again. 
Also, if you've accidentally added a file that you don't want to transfer to University Archives, you can click the Cancel button next to the file name to delete that file from your transfer queue. When you've added all of the files you want to transfer, click the Start Upload button. The bar beside the file name will indicate the progress of the file transfer. When all of the files have uploaded, click I'm finished uploading to complete the transfer. Then you'll find the confirmation and thank you screen. On this confirmation screen, you'll see a list of the files you transferred along with an option to log out. If you don't wish to log out, you can actually upload additional files by clicking the button you see here. This can be for the same or a different UNCG department. When you've finished, log out, and you'll also receive a confirmation email listing the individual files you've transferred. If you have any questions about using BDRM or uploading digital files to UNCG University Archives, please contact us via email or phone. You can also consult our resource guide, which contains additional tutorial videos and tips for records transfer. Thank you for your help in ensuring that we're able to maintain a complete history of the university and your department.